Good evening. My name is Rashonda Williams, and I want to welcome you to the Connections Midweek Word. I want to talk to you tonight about the importance and the benefits of planting the Word of God in our children when they are young. Normally, when I'm coming to you speaking about children, I'm usually speaking about those children who are minors in our home, those children that we still have parental control over because they're with us every single night. But tonight, I want to talk to you about our young adult children, those children who have left the home, whether they have gone off to work or to college, um, or maybe they're married and they have their own families. But those are the young adult children that I want to talk to you tonight about. And I'm going to come to you from Proverbs chapter 12, verses 12 through 14. And it says this, Whoever is wicked covets the spoil of evildoers, but the root of the righteous bears fruit. An evil man is ensnared by the transgression of his lips, but the righteous escapes from trouble. From the fruit of his mouth, a man is satisfied with good, and the work of a man's hand comes back to him. Well, I want to focus on what 12b said. 12b says the root of the righteous bears fruit. And verse 13b says the righteous escapes from trouble. Well, I'm talking to you about our young adult children tonight because um, this, this touches me deeply um, for reasons that I won't go into tonight but I hope that this will be an encouragement to other parents of young adults who are out there on their own. Like I said, maybe married, maybe in college. It's easy for us when we have our little ones at home, even when they go through those teenage years, which can be a struggle for some of us, but they're still at home and it's it's easy for us to to pray over them to trust God, to believe in God whenever we see that they are having issues. The struggle comes when they leave your home though. And even though we have faith and we walk by faith and not by sight and not by what we hear, it can still be a struggle sometimes when we see that those young adults are struggling or even worse, they're in pain, whether that is physical pain, whether that is mental pain. And at these ages and those stages in their lives, we can't just kiss away a boo-boo or make it feel better um, by, you know, holding on to them. Um, it's this time, it's these times that um, can be a struggle. It can be a challenge to our faith. It can be a test to our faith. But here's where I want to encourage you. Instead of having those sleepless nights wondering, okay, well, how are they going to make it through this? This is the time when we really need to dig in deep to the word of God and know without a doubt that every word that we have planted in them from the time that they were a youth, that those words do come back. I want to go back to uh, 12b. It says the root of the righteous bears fruit. I actually looked up that word root in, he in the Hebrew and in the Strong's Concordance, the word is Sheresh. And it means a root, a literal root, or bottom, or deep. As it pertains to people, it means a firmness or a permanence. Well, saints of God, I just have to see that I am seeing that permanence. Because that root that we planted, that labor of love, those labors of prayer and sacrifice and teaching the word of God to our youth, it's, it's not in vain. You see it come back or you hope to see it and i am blessed to see it as the word that we put into our youth it is coming back and i want to encourage you that no matter what the struggle is no matter what you as a parent is seeing your adult children go through what you have planted in them it goes down so deep and it cannot be shaken it cannot be moved no matter what those those paths are looking like right now in the lives of your young adults remember this that they will bear fruit and they will walk the good path that will allow them to escape trouble now i don't know what trouble might look like for some of your young adults right now 
I don't know what they might be going through right now, but I do want to encourage you what 12b again says. It says the root of the righteous bears fruit and 13b says the righteous escapes from trouble. Well, I can tell you um, personally, my own testimony from my late teens all the way up to my mid twenties, my path was more than shaky. Definitely, I can tell you that I was not always completely walking in the will of God. No, but no matter what our home life looked like, the word was planted deep within me. Thank you, Jesus. And because of my own testimony, I know that that word came back just when I needed it. And I want to encourage any parent out there who has a young adult who is struggling, who is going through, whatever word you planted in them, that word is there. It's down deep. And in your young adults, they can't be, they can't be shaken, no matter what it looks like. Even if it looks like they might be ready to crumble. I want to encourage you not to spend any sleepless nights concerned about how this is going to turn out for them because the Lord does have them in his hands and we don't have to worry. I want to go back to um, Psalms and I am looking at um, Psalms. It is chapter 37 and I want to go to verses 23 all the way down through um, 26. It says, the steps of a man are established by the Lord when he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be cast headlong, for the Lord upholds his hands. I want to stop right there as it pertains to our children, young adult children, minor children. I want you to keep that verse in mind. As long as we have put the word of God in them, as long as we have planted that, that, that word has taken root and it goes down deep. So it says, though he fall, he shall not be cast headlong for the Lord upholds his hand. For any of you parents who have a young adult child who is struggling right now, who is going through, remember that though he or she falls, he shall not be cast headlong for the Lord upholds his hands. So that's for our children as it pertains to our children. And let me tell you that when you have dedicate, dedicated your child to Christ from a young age, and when you have put that word of God, no matter what it looks like in their, their, their young years, in their teen years, in their adult years, no matter what it looks like, their steps have already been established by the Lord. So I want you to take heart. I want you to be encouraged that we don't have to lose faith when we see that our young adults are out there struggling. Don't lose faith because his or her steps have already been established by the Lord when he delights in his way. So then I want to go to um, Psalms. I'm still in chapter 37, but I want to go to 25 and uh, 26. And I, this is an encouragement to me as a parent. It says, I have been young and now am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread. He is ever lending generously and his children become a blessing. I want to uh, go back to yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread. Again, I want to encourage you that no matter what it looks like right now, God will not forsake you. God has not forsaken me as a parent, and I'm speaking to the parents right now. He has not forgotten about us. So whatever it is your young adults are going through, whatever it is that you are on your knees laboring in prayer for, I want you to stay encouraged because God hears you. He sees all and he knows all. And we have not been forsaken and our children will not beg for bread. So no matter how hard the struggle is for them right now, God has made us promises. 
And it says that he is ever lending generously. We are lenders. But what I really want to pick up on is that his children become a blessing. So friends, saints of God, I want to encourage you again as parents of um, young adults, young adults, like I said, they might even be married. They might even have their own families or they might be in college, no matter what their stage in life is. Know this, that your children are a blessing. Even if you don't see it right now, the word says his children become a blessing. So I don't want you to get tired. I don't want you to get weary. I want you to continue to pray. I want you to continue to trust. I want you to continue to believe God that no matter what, what you have planted in your children, no matter their age, that word, that root goes down so deep that it cannot be shaken, it cannot be moved, and your children, our children, are going to make it through whatever they are going through right now. So I guess what I really, really want to remind you is that no matter what trouble looks like, no matter what trouble looks like, Proverbs 12, 13b said this, the righteous escapes from trouble. And your young adults, your minor children, they escape from trouble because they are righteous. And they are righteous because the word of God, that root goes down deep inside of them. So parents, again, don't worry. Don't fret. Sit back and watch God as he moves. So I want to end with this. I want you to have faith over your household. Even if you see that a few different paths have been taken, even if you see that there is struggle right now, even if you see that um, it, it looks like their faith might be shaken a little bit, I want you to remember this. You are righteous and you have planted the word of God, the root, and it will bear fruit. So stay strong, believe God, hold fast to your faith, Again, this, this, this message tonight is truly to parents, parents who have children, young adults, minor children, it doesn't matter, who are struggling right now. I want you to be encouraged. This has encouraged me that what we have planted in our children from a young age, it has taken root. Don't be moved by what you see. Remember, God is by your side and he has not forsaken us. Trust and believe and always remember the word that you planted it has taken root it's god's word and it you cannot be moved by what you see or what you hear be encouraged my friends god bless you and have a wonderful evening